Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Azhar. My name is Ranganath. I am Kaushik N. We are the final year students of Atria Institute of Technology and we belong to Electronics and Communication branch. Today we are going to demonstrate a project titled Green Power which is guided by our mentor Mr. Keshav Murthy. Green Power. This project demonstrates energy harvesting based on piezo vibration. This project is a green initiative which replaces batteries which supply very few micro to milliwatt loads. Piezo crystals array when connected in parallel and subjected to vibrations which are abundant in nature produce very few micro to milliwatt power. This power is harvested using simple circuit called charge pump storage circuit built around Tiva C-series launch pad and few ICs to charge a super capacitor bank of 5 volts which then could be drawn from the super capacitor and utilized for various electronic devices or can be boosted to 24 volt DC as shown in our project using TPS 61175 IC for the applications which require higher voltage. The experiments were conducted using different types of piezoelectric crystal like circular and rectangular ones. But for effective and efficient energy harvesting, piezoelectric crystal made of lead, zirconate and titanate are used which are available in the form of films or strips. These piezoelectric crystals which we have used in our project was developed by Media Technological Corporations. These piezoelectric crystals, when subjected to any kind of vibration or pressure, the disoriented charge carriers present in the crystal are aligned in one direction and start flowing. This ultimately leads to the generation of AC voltage. Now, this AC voltage is stepped down to 15 volts using a step down transformer of rating 35 to 15 volts, which operates at a frequency of 150 hertz. This step down AC voltage is then converted to DC voltage using a Scott key rectifier of very low voltage drop that is 0.2 volts. There are abundance of vibrations around us. To simulate the different frequencies of vibrations that ranges from 2 Hz to 150 Hz such as walking, cycling, road traffic etc. A device called as electrodynamic shaker is built using a 40 watt 4 ohm speaker with suitable support. The input from the signal generator is of 0.5 volt VRMS which is amplified with a gain of 20 decibels using audio amplifier IC LA4440. The coil of the speaker vibrates at the same frequency as the input. The output of the piezo is of AC having the same frequency as the source of vibration. We will now demonstrate the basic principle involved in charge pump storage circuit in the following slides. Charge pump storage consists of three capacitors in parallel, namely RC, a reservoir capacitor, CC, charging capacitor and SC, super capacitor which is related to 1 farad 5.4 volts. These capacitors are separated by two PMOSFET switches namely switch 0 and switch 1. PMOSFET switch 2 is a switch connecting load. RC and CC are separated by switch 0 and CC and SC are separated by switch 1. When there is vibrations, capacitors RC and CC charges to its full extent. The TIVA microcontroller monitors the voltage across CC using ADC0. When the voltage across CC is 10.2 volts, control from TIVA microcontroller is given to the interlocking mechanism which enables switch 1 to be closed and by interlock switch 0 is opened, allowing the charge to be pumped from charging capacitor to super capacitor. We will now demonstrate the working of the project. Here this is a signal generator, this is test bench setup, this is electrodynamic shaker and this circuitry is charge pump storage circuit. The frequency of the AC voltage set is 112 Hz which is the same frequency as that of the piezoelectric crystal. Also the amplitude of the AC voltage is 0.5 volt VRMS. 
This is the test pen setup consisting of a 20 watt audio amplifier and 12 volt power supply. The 20 watt audio amplifier is indicated using a yellow LED and the 12 volt power supply is indicated using a red LED. The input from the signal generator is given to the audio amplifier which amplifies the signal from the signal generator and is then given out through the output ports. These ports are then given to the speaker. This setup is termed as the electrodynamic shaker consisting of a 40 watt 4 ohm speaker and an array of 4 piezoelectric crystals. This speaker vibrates at the same frequency as that of the uh, signal generator. The input for the speaker is given through these coils. The output voltage of these four parallelly connected piezoelectric crystal is fed to a step down transformer. This step down transformer step downs from 35 volts to 15 volts. This circuitry is the heart of our project which is charge pump storage circuit. It consists of reservoir capacitor RC, charging capacitor CC and super capacitor bank SC. Between RC and CC, P MOSFET switch 0 is present and between CC and SC, P MOSFET switch 1 is present. The interlocking mechanism between P MOSFET switch 0 and switch 1 is implemented using an IC called CD4093 which is nothing but a Schmidt NAND trigger. This IC is called TL084 IC which provides ADC interface to the TIVA microcontroller. This microcontroller controls the overall operation of our circuit. Because of the interlocking mechanism between PMOS with switch 0 and 1, only at any instant of time one switch is on and the other switch is off. Like if PMOS with switch 0 is on, this is off and if this is off, this is on. The voltage buildup across the super capacitor is monitored by ADC1 of the TIVA microcontroller. When the voltage across super capacitor is 5.2 volt, the load switch PMOS switch 2 is closed. Then the voltage can be drawn from the super capacitor. As the capacitor discharges, a boost converter keeps the voltage at constant 5 volt till the super capacitor voltage falls to 0.7 volt. This can be used as 5 volt DC or can be boosted to 24 volt DC using IC TPS61175 for applications which require high voltage. Here we get the real time calibrated voltage from the piezo crystal. When the voltage across the piezo crystal reaches 10 volts, the switch is enabled which pumps the charge from charging capacitor onto super capacitor indicated by this LED. 10 volts, this LED switches on indicating the charge has been pumped and on each pumping of charge there is 20 to 30 millivolts average charge that has been pumped from charging capacitor to super capacitor. Now the super capacitor voltage is 5.2 volts which enables this load switch and we can use that load to power LEDs as shown here. We would like to thank our mentor Mr. Keshav Murthy for guiding us through the project and TI for providing us such a beautiful opportunity and all the members who made this project possible.